you can just fire as many as you want and just destroy destroy your entire world here i'm gonna fire some snowballs too and it literally will just destroy everything Hello guys, this is Spider Rock and welcome to the Blasters add-on. This is a new add-on by me that adds in basically a whole new ranged class with 50 new blasters, which are ranged weapons into your Minecraft game. Uh, Minecraft kind of lacks a ranger class the way that things like Terraria have a ranger class. And so that's what this add-on adds. So in this chest here, I have, oh, that's not a chest. In this chest here, I have all of them, but I would like to let you guys know that I do have merch too. So if you're interested in that, you can check that out in the link in the description. But before I do show you guys this add-on i wanted to shout out david campbell a888 and mm641 for becoming channel members and joining oh i just went in another and uh and joining the youtube channel getting access to uh my add-ons and whatnot and betas early so uh thank you um anyway so there will be a link to download this in the description for everybody but those of you who are members would have already gotten the download yesterday anyway here are all the blasters so there's four main types of blaster we'll get into all these special ones in a little bit but there's 50 here because you know this holds 54 there's four empty slots anyway the main four types are auto blaster carbine lobber and sniper so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the iron variant because uh those are generally the most like average so you've got the auto blasters which fire things automatically pretty quickly uh they don't do as much damage and have as much range as some of the other ones but you can fire them quickly and you can you know have a decent range from them uh there are carbines which there's one of these i mean i don't know if you can see in the chest these are kind of the standard and also all these are craftable and just a regular craft table these are kind of the standard so there's one of these for each of the main types of uh types of equipment uh there's the carbines which are slightly longer range you can see than the auto blasters and they do slightly more damage however they do have a cooldown um so and a little bit less durability but um you can see let's see if i hit this horse i don't know i already hit this horse about the auto blaster um of course like the netherite ones are going to be better than these two then there's the lobbers which are since i can't really do like a shotgun type of thing i did a lobber which is a close range thing it kind of lobs a thing so you can't really use it effectively at long range i mean you could probably figure out how to use it at long range but like i'm struggling to hit this cow from here but if i say walk up to the cow and just bam it kind of acts like a uh, sword and the lobbers do one more damage than the carbines the carbine i believe it goes um auto blasters do a certain amount of damage carbine does two more than the auto blaster lobber does one more than the carbine and the sniper does like two or three more than the uh than the lobber so the snipers they have the longest cooldown but they also have the longest range and the uh, fastest traveling fastest traveling little blast things i don't know what to really call them projectiles i guess is the word um so the snipers are better for long range i mean you wouldn't take on a horde of zombies with a sniper but i mean I, I i'm pretty happy with the textures for these to be honest i think i did an okay job let me grab the netherite ones uh for comparison there's also wood ones so you can get these pretty quickly i'm pretty sure the wood ones are made out of logs though and not just regular wood um i will show you the crafting recipes though if i hop into survival we can ho head over here and you can see the crafting recipes for all of these so they are basically well they're basically like a little pattern of um whatever material plus the sword of that type of thing except for netherite which are just the diamond ones uh upgraded but then you can see the sniper also takes a piece of glass so for all of them you're gonna need um except for the snipers you're gonna need five um five of that material plus the sword and then of course you can fire them so the wooden ones of course are gonna be the worst they're gonna have the worst range they can hit targets though which is kind of interesting and then of course the netherite ones are gonna be the best of course um they have the best things they're also the most expensive um and you know you can use them you can fire them off i'm i would fight here i'll fight off a horde of a horde of zombies with just my netherite ones i'll go ahead and do that um and then we can get to some of the more interesting ones because the majority of the things in this i mean these are like these are a significant portion of this add-on. These are the regular progression for the uh, Ranger class. But then there's some some fun ones and some late game ones as well. And I don't know if a sniper, I think a netherite sniper can one-shot these guys. Yeah, as you can see, we're hitting them pretty quickly. So I can just kind of pick them off slowly. I can use the carbine, which I think can two-shot them. Yep. Uh, the lobber, which can also two-shot them, but does a little bit more damage. So if they're already kind of weak, I can take them out pretty quickly. And then, of course, I can just go back and forth between all these. Uh, strategy, if you want to do it is you can say grab different snipers of different classes uh oh they're all getting into here uh oh um so let's say i wanted to grab a i could do a little combo thing if i had another right sniper and then a diamond sniper and i don't think the diamond sniper can actually one shot them i think i hit these guys a little bit but you can kind of go back and forth because that's kind of like a way to counteract the cooldown yeah it doesn't always one shot them um but you can kind of go back and forth and you can do that with pretty much all of them 
if you want to. So that's kind of a strategy, but you're gonna need a lot of blasters for that. Anyway, those are kind of like the main blasters. And as you can see, there's gold ones, which the gold ones are a little bit different. They have the like biggest drop off basically, but they have like faster projectiles. And I don't know, they're kind of like, they're basically the nether one, netherite ones, but with more gravity, if that makes sense. Anyway, we've got these now. So these are essentially all of the fancy custom things. This is where you're gonna have your rocket launchers, your grenade launchers, your, your big irons, all of these things. So I wanna go ahead and grab some of the rocket launchers. There's a lot of rocket launchers. These are all the rocket launchers uh, though. So we've got the regular rocket launcher, which does basically what you'd expect here. I'm gonna hop back into creative so I can kind of fly for a second. I don't wanna blow up my showcase area, but the regular rocket launcher fires a rocket and you can blow stuff up. The auto rocket launcher is like that, except full auto explosion time. You can literally blow everything up. It's kind of kind of crazy. The organized auto rocket launcher doesn't actually blow up the ground. So it's just a lot more ideal for fighting things if you don't want to destroy your destroy your world. If I spawn in some guys over here, I can use the organized auto rocket launcher and just pretty quickly and easily take these guys out. Um, this is going to be kind of pricey though, kind of expensive. Then we have the incendiary rocket launcher, which is like the rocket launcher, except you get fire, so it does a little fiery explosion, kind of like a Molotov. There's the torpedo launcher, which while it's very slow in the air, it's basically just a rocket launcher, it does move very quickly underwater. You can see here's the air, and then here is underwater, which it moves a lot faster. It moves so fast you can't even really see it, and it kind of accelerates over time too in the water, which is kind of cool. So you can hit things at pr pretty long ranges with the torpedoes. They don't do as much damage as the other ones though with their explosion. Then there's the launcher rocket. So I don't know how many of you guys have played Team Fortress 2, but you would know that there's a thing in Team Fortress 2 called rocket jumping, and that is essentially what the launcher rocket does. You can just kind of run around and then boom, launch yourself up into the air. You can also use it like a rocket launcher, but it's not very effective rocket launcher it doesn't do much damage doesn't break the ground or anything however it will uh, send anything it hits flying into the air if i want to spawn in some guys you can actually use it as a weapon as well so if you want to you can launch yourself in the air and then you could say launch a bunch of husks in the air just like this and there they go hey look they, they went flying so it's probably not good to do it from the air but you can do you can pull off some pretty crazy things you can do one of these and then just launch some some organized rockets down and just blow everything up from the air just do an aerial strike which is which is i've thought kind of fun and then there's finally the boomer which is the best rocket launcher hands down it's got the biggest explosion radius the most uh, most uh, durability, it, the rockets fire the fastest and it's organized so it's best for combat, not really for destruction of things. Um, but if I spawn in some guys, you can see how quickly I can take them out with my boomer. Um, and this one's actually pretty expensive too though. But yeah, these guys just get eaten, they just melt. Um, I do like trying these out with iron golems too if you want to like test things out. And all of this is PvP friendly by the way. All of these things, you can fire at your friends and blow them up for the most part. Um, there might be a few that are, that are a little bugged out. Anyway, that's the rocket launchers. On to the grenade launchers. So for the grenade launchers, we have the grenade launcher, TNT cannon, and TNT teddy. So the regular grenade launcher is what you'd expect from a grenade launcher. You launch it somewhere, it sticks in the ground, and it eventually blows up. It doesn't blow up the ground itself, because it's more of like a, a weapon than a uh, destructive one, and that's why we'll get into the TNT cannon in a second. It's got a decently fast fire rate, but not like full auto. Um, it kind of sticks into the ground, so it's a little bit easier to control than your average- Oh, hold on, I think I'm just blowing these guys up. A little bit easier to control than your average uh, rocket launcher. It's also a little bit cheaper than a rocket launcher, or like an organized rocket launcher, if that's what you're going for. There's also the TNT cannon, which does also what you'd expect. Fires at a piece of TNT, the TNT lands, and eventually blows up. It's essentially the grenade launcher variant of the, uh, of the rocket- like regular rocket launchers. However, the TNT cannon puts an actual TNT down, which I don't know if it's actually Actual TNT is what you're going for, but TNT is what I'm going for sometimes. And I don't know if there's certain things that you might need an actual TNT entity, like certain um, redstone things or whatever. So you could use the TNT cannon for kind of whatever. Then there's finally the TNT, which is based off of a thing from the game Sunset Overdrive. Not a very uh, well-known game, but it's a game I love. TNT is essentially the best grenade launcher. It does the most damage. It's got, uh, I think, basically, it is a slightly faster cooldown. I think it's slightly longer range than the regular grenade launcher. Oh, that's a TNT. TNT cannon. There's a grenade launcher, there's a TNT teddy. Maybe it's basically the same, but it does better explosions. It looks like a teddy bear when you fire it, and it's ultimately pretty good. So I can fire this into some of these guys, and it blows up on impact. That's also kind of a thing. You know, grenade launcher, you throw it, you wait a second, and it blows up. This one, that's the TNT cannon. Uh-oh. 
Hold on, can I blow, can blow, blow it away, blow it away? Oh, well, there goes part of my showcase area. Anyway, that one blows up on impact. Next weapon we have here, I'm actually going to go into survival for a second and throw on a piece of armor because this is the Soul Blast Sword, which is basically a better netherite sword, except you can also fire these little soul blasts and uh, and use them like a ranger class. So this is if you want to be like a melee class, but also want to have some ranger elements, or if you want to be a ranger class and have a melee weapon to go with your thing. It is uh, a higher durability than a netherite sword however that durability does start to run kind of low when you're using the projectile thing from it as well but it has this little trail behind it and then you can like shoot all these guys and then you can go in you can enchant the sword too which is uh nice and you can you can do all the all the things that you'd expect from a sword as well as all the things you'd expect from a blaster in the blaster add-on uh as as you'd want from a ranger class plus there's no gravity to these little soul blasts they do fire kind of slow though so i don't know if that's entirely your thing next we have what i like to call the ballers you can kind of call them whatever you want but anyway this is the snowballer the decimator and the rad maker so uh to start off the snowballer it's not that useful unless you're fighting a bunch of blazes i guess it fires a snowball that drops a bunch of snowballs so if you want a lot of snowballs all over the place or if you're doing like a snowball fight with your friends you can use this to have a very very exciting snowball fight and uh yeah just kind of drop snowballs around nothing too crazy but it's more of a component for these next two but i mean if it's fun if you want to fire snowballs all over the place it's a thing you can do anyway we have the decimator and the rad maker now so these two are going to be some of the most lethal and most violent and deadly things in this add-on so the decimator you can kind of just pick a direction that you want to blow up and then you just fire it in that direction and it just fires a bunch of tnt in that direction that's the decimator just, you know, all of this is gone now. You can just fire as many as you want and just destroy destroy your entire world. Here, I'm going to fire some snowballs too. And it literally will just destroy everything. This is going to make your game lag significantly. And it's going to probably be intensive on your computer. But it, it works. You can blow a bunch of things up. Um, it has a solid amount of durability too. This is pretty pricey. My game is chugging right now. Let me just do a little kill at E a few times get rid of some of these items that are on the ground there we go that's a lot better and then finally the rad maker so the rad maker is based off of the what's it called the bfg uh bfg 9000 from doom this is essentially a like radial damage dealer so it deals damage to anything but players you can just fire it in the direction of something and anything that's within 10 blocks of the little projectile will be withered for a few seconds so it's not enough in one shot to necessarily kill anything unless you actually like directly hit it because uh, the damage to it is actually pretty significant but if you're fighting off a horde of things or let's say a large horde of things let me just spawn in say one two three four uh waves of zombies or husks you can just fire this into the crowd and they will all die i was going to use poison because this is green but the poison wouldn't actually deal damage to like undead mobs so i figured i should do wither effect instead and it ended up being pretty pretty deadly like literally i can go through them all in half a second i can literally just like i i put the thing down and i just fire and they're just all gonna start to like with her and and die this does have a solid amount of durability too this is also very expensive might i mention it's uh i mean probably for good reason it's it's pretty op anyway next we have the rail guns so these are going to be i uh, hear late game snipers or carbines more so snipers so these guys the regular rail gun does 35 attack damage so it's got a decent length cooldown but it's a 35 attack damage thing so you hit something and it can pretty much instantly kill most things um in it's like what three shot to an iron golem three or four shot to an iron golem i mean you could be a wither or a wither dragon no an ender dragon in just a few shots but the main reason you want a railgun because it's so expensive you have to spend a beacon on it um is because you want a cooled railgun now a cooled railgun is a railgun except it fires once per second um so you can essentially just decimate anything in your path you can just be like hey bam 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 Bam. Ooh, it's iron. Okay. And a hat. Let's go. Oh, no. You picked up my hat. I want my hat back. Okay. I got my hat. Anyway, this thing can kind of destroy things. It's got a pretty fast projectile. It's not completely a hit scan, but it's pretty close to it. And you can basically, from any range, take out anything that you want in one shot. Unless you're firing into a wall like me. There we go. Get rid of the pig. The, the noise is also kind of loud, so I don't know if that'll bother you. But, yep. That's the cooled railgun. It's cool literally next this one actually kind of has a funny story behind it we have the irons the small iron the small iron the big iron and the nine iron 
So somebody uh, on my Discord, sorry, her pineapple and also on streams is kind of obsessed with Big Iron and like the, the whole song and the whatever. I don't really know. But anyway, I, I figured since they were in my stream chat and they were asking for it, I should make a Big Iron, which is a six shot thing. It only has six shots in durability, but it does, I think, 50 damage, either 50 or 100 damage. It does a lot of damage. I think I made it do 100 damage. Anyway, you can, with one of these, typically take out an Ender Dragon or something. However, it costs like four iron blocks or something, and you only get six shots, so you have to be precise, and the shots aren't the best in terms of distance. Anyway, I figured, you know, what's what's big iron? Small iron. Small iron is small iron. Anyway, this is 25 damage. It's a solid thing. It also has six shots, and this costs, uh, I think, four iron ingots. Um, instead of four iron blocks, uh, I think these are all pretty much suggestions from like stream chat and friends and stuff. And then these small iron, it's so small, it's only three pixels. This one only does 10 damage, however, it only costs four iron nuggets. So if you really want to, you can fill up your inventory with these, because uh, you can't stack them. And you can just kind of go around and have a 10 damage uh, projectile pretty early on. As you can see, that fires a nugget, that fires an ingot, and that fires a block. Then finally, the 9 iron, which is 9 big irons, and this fires golf balls. It's essentially just a full auto blaster. It's kind of mediocre, and it also does 7 attack damage. Kind of like a soul blast sword. Projectiles move a little bit quicker, does a little bit less damage overall. Has still a decent amount of durability, and you can also beat it up, because it's literally a 9 iron golf club. So you can just beat whatever you want up. And then just fire some projectiles and some things. Also kind of like a, a lower tier. If you have a lot of iron, I would go for this opposed to the uh, the Soul Blast Sword. Because that can be pretty expensive since it costs four Wither Skulls and four Diamonds along with a pre-existing basic full durability netherite sword. So this is kind of like a predecessor to that if you're going for like a melee ranger combo. Um, which I know might be some people's things. Let me just big iron some of these guys, small iron some of these guys, nine iron some of these guys. Um, I hope my golf ball texture looks okay. Also, I don't know if this actually looks like a nine iron. I don't know, really know. I didn't look it up. I just figured, okay, what well, looks like a golf club? This looks like a golf club, so, you know, it looks enough like a golf club for me. Let me just... Ew. I mean, I don't have... I'm in creative, so I'm not being affected by durability, but there should normally be durability. Anyway, the last few are kind of fun. Three of them are actually pretty good. Anyway, next we have the Lobber Lobber. The Lobber Lobber is is a lobber made of lobbers that lobs lobbers. So, you've got a lobber lobber, you combine all of your lobbers, it's basically the best lobber in the game, and it lobs lobbers. So it's basically like the ultimate close range thing. It only does, uh, since lobbers aren't that hard to craft, really, it only does 15 damage, but 15 damage is pre pre still pretty significant. So if that's what you're looking for, just a nice 15 damage, good shotgunny type thing, good lobber, then uh, that's what the lobber lobber is for. It lobs lobbers. You can literally see it literally lobs a nether right lobber. Um, so I, I wanted to make a good lobber, and this is like almost a good lobber, but like only kind of, because it's not like the highest damage. It's still better than the next best lobber, which I think is like only 10 damage or something as the netherite lobber. So uh, yeah, it's, it's still an improvement. Um, and it, it shoots those at things, but like you don't have to have them directly to feed the ammo. Next we have the taser. Now the taser is very cheap and very ineffective. As you can see, I can shoot it here and I got tased because it's kind of like a radial thing. Anyway, you get uh, shake, screen shake and slowness. And if you hit a mob with it, it should get slowness. However, it doesn't always work. It's an unreliable taser you only get like 15 shots with it too uh i suggest shooting next to a mob's feet or something because that will actually slow them down but this could be good especially once like 1.18 comes out or whatever if you're being chased down by like a warden or something and you just tase the warden and run away i don't know i feel like this has applications maybe you could do it with an iron golem already if you get an iron golem mad at you tasers are not hard to craft they're pretty decent and they only have a chance of actually like affecting whatever you hit if you directly hit it like this guy's still gonna keep walking but if you hit by its feet it has like a pretty much guaranteed chance of, of hitting it. So you know, things are what they are sometimes. That's the taser. Next we have the harpoon blaster. So the harpoon blaster is what you'd expect. It's a pretty mediocre carbine basically. It's basically like an iron carbine that has less range. However, you get into the water and it's practically hit scan. Look at this, look at this. Bam. It literally moves so fast you can barely see it. And it does a decent amount of damage. I think it does like seven or eight damage at range. And it's got a decent fire rate. So if you want a decent underwater thing that isn't your trident, it's a little bit faster and easier to use. Maybe like a, uh, I don't know, like a, a fast, yeah, I guess just a fast alternative to a trident. That is what your harpoon blaster is for. However, I think you do have to make use tridents to make it. But you know, it's good for, for, for fishing, I guess. 
you know you could you could fish with it you can uh it'll go fast if you shoot it out of the water it'll go fast once it hits the water so i could just kind of fish with it if i want to i do have to count, uh, account for the the drop for that i'm getting when i'm actually out of the water anyway we've got our last three blasters down here sorry that this video is long but i mean i have 50 things to cover and you have 50 things to play with once you uh once you get your hands on this anyway next we have the laser blaster rainbow blaster and void blaster these are three of the best things in the game laser blaster only does five damage however you can pretty much like shoot from anywhere you want so i could shoot from here go ahead and get rid of that guy i could shoot from here and it does five damage and i could just bam 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 uh it's practically hit scan five damage uh damage doesn't completely register on some mobs like husks sometimes but you can shoot from literally anywhere and i mean you can't even see the projectile you can kind of see it but like it shoots really fast this is a pretty expensive thing to craft but it's not the most expensive thing to craft and it's ultimately like one of the best just auto blasters if that's what you're looking for plus it looks kind of cool anyway there's the rainbow blaster which is literally the better laser blaster however it's extremely expensive uh it's essentially going to cost you like two nether stars plus a laser blaster. well it costs two two cooled rail guns a laser blaster and like blocks of diamond and stuff and this one does 10 damage which you know isn't necessarily here but it does 10 damage has a ton of durability full auto completely hit scan i mean it will hit from any distance as long as it's in your render distance or simulation distance and you can actually see it it's honestly really good kind of op at this point but you know that's what you're we're going for here it's kind of op assuming you can actually get it which is really expensive then finally the void blaster which you know it has its use it's essentially a it fires in one direction doesn't really have drop off however it will delete things when it hits things you kind of have to be moving it for it to work though sometimes but if it hits a mob if it hits literally anything it will just delete it so you can use it to kind of clear out a section of land take the ground from beneath a mob i don't know what you why you necessarily want to use it but i made it in case you want to use it because i thought it would be cool plus it looks kind of cool doesn't make any noise so maybe it could be good for like a a stealth kind of setting and you can just kind of send a mob into the abyss and yes it will break through bedrock hence the name the void blaster because it will break into the void assuming you can actually get to the void anyway if you make it to here comment down below raw chicken because that's the one thing in my inventory that i only have one of actually i have an iron sword too so you could comment iron iron sword if you want to i don't know anyway thanks for watching if you made it here you can get this in the description if you are interested in in getting this add-on um i made it i put a lot of time into it i've been working on it for a while i worked on it during streams which a lot of you guys were able to see anyway thanks for watching see you guys later and bye